how do I get into cybersecurity or the roles I've been applying for in cybersecurity or asking for experience almost every single role right this is a question I get asked more often so right what's the answer before I tell you first things first um, when I say um, cybersecurity role or when people think of working in cybersecurity they think of the person sitting at the computer and hacking into companies or banks uh, you know <laughs> black screen green letters everywhere that's not the case uh, it, most of the time that's not the case you are either crunching some logs on Excel or some sort of software or you're advising a company right um, while we are at it there are number of different roles in cybersecurity it's not just the penetration tester or ethical hacker which fits into the criteria closest to the criteria we described earlier right uh, in fact CompTIA came up with this um, really nice infographic recently explaining um, different roles in cybersecurity and what kind of titles they would have what kind of experience that you would need and what kind of salaries you would get right so for example you have SOC analyst um, cybersecurity architect compliance uh, auditor or uh, you know trainer risk advisor number number of different roles right um, you don't necessarily need technical skills for every single role there are only few roles that need technical skills right so getting into security um, right there are a couple of different uh, ways into into security right M most of the people I know or most of the people that are working in cybersecurity or at the management level as well in cybersecurity um, either came from IT background or some sort of networking background technology background um, or they did a uh, cyber security degree at the college and did an internship and, and progress their way through right and it's it's very less often I see people they come from a different background or having no experience and in coming into the security if they did they're usually um, you know a trainer role or security uh, auditor or um, you know risk advisor and things like that not really technical roles but I could be wrong right I haven't seen everybody <laughs> so for you um, whatever your background is if you want to get into security you need to develop IT skill well first of all you need to choose which path you want to go down right and then you need to choose your um, you know how, how you, you will get there Getting into IT, uh, like service uh, services role, help desk role, um, first line support, these things are relatively easier than getting directly into security. And then you can make the switch later on into security or while you're working in your IT role, you can, you can, uh, you can learn uh, security. Uh, anyway, eventually you will start asking questions about security, you know, why, why their password policies, why there is a two-factor authentication and you, you slowly go down the rabbit hole and then hopefully you will learn a lot, right? Um, <clears throat> and uh, people in other careers coming into cybersecurity, again, you know, look at what transferable skills you have, what skills you can bring into the cybersecurity and what roles you could apply for, you know, um, that could be really good as well. And college degrees, hey, you know, if you're, if you're a student, you have a best opportunity to apply for internships or or you know reach out to people that are working in the industry and showcase your skills right um, if you're already in cyber and somehow you found yourself um, with no job um, this applies to you and everybody else um, who is looking for the job as well is you know make yourself um, known make stand out create a profile on LinkedIn and uh, you know um, let your thoughts uh, know by other people follow industry um, influencers in the industry there are a number of people I can think of Lisa Forte Kevin Fielder Greg Wondergast Ian Murphy Jane Franklin you know usual suspects right and number of people speakers look at where they are speaking earlier they, they were these were physical events you could go and network with these people um, but that may not be the case now but somehow you need to network with them and LinkedIn or Twitter would be a really uh, great great examples right um, you know stay positive um, you know uh, it will happen believe in yourself and, and when you have time keep learning there are a number of uh, tools like Udemy or YouTube 
you can learn for free udemy is almost you know 10 pounds per course things like that and um, one more thing that can help you with uh, getting into cyber is getting certifications so uh, there are people that are not for certifications or there are people that are for certifications i am i belong to this category i support certifications it means that you have taken time you have uh, dedicated yourself you have a goal and you achieved it right and the certification truth to be told helps you to get to the interview right and then experience um, or yourself um, will take you from the interview to the job right so I hope that helps um, you know you have to be you have to stay positive open-minded uh, stay enthusiastic curious to learn things and, and you know um, look at what you have and how, how can you apply in the industry right I hope that helps and if you have any further questions please do reach out right Thank you, I'm Jay from TechForce.